What is going on, dudes? How you guys doing? It's the Real Duke, and I'm coming to you with a new Let's Play series on this sweet game currently in beta. It is called Starbound. It's from uh, some of the dudes that brought you Terraria. When we get into the game, if you haven't seen it before, you haven't heard about it yet, you will. Uh, I think you'll be you'll be able to recognize it. There's a lot of similarities, but there are also quite a few differences, and I think. Those differences make this game pretty exciting and the potential for this game to be really awesome, really, really high. So I wanted to bring you guys a Let's Play, share my enthusiasm about the game with you guys, and hopefully drum support for the developers who are cranking away hard at what could be a pretty incredible title if they get enough support. So let's get into it. So basically, um, the game's called Starbound. You can see we're in beta version Angry Koala, which is... Which is pretty funny. You got basic options again. We're still in beta, so you know, got a couple of a couple of options here that are restricted. I'm gonna turn this music up. Bam! Gotta tell you, the music in this game is incredible. I'm actually gonna keep it down a little bit. Let's drop this down a little bit too. Well, I got my zoom level all the way out now. If you haven't, if you're not familiar with this kind of game, you see the zoom level. My guy is gonna look really tiny. I'm gonna look really, really tiny on the screen. But I think part of what's awesome about this game is the sense of scope and scale. So I think that's gonna be a pretty, a pretty big part of what makes this game so cool. So we're gonna kind of leave it like that for now until, you know, unless I get some, I guess I, unless I get some other feedback saying otherwise. So let's create a character. So we have six different species, and they have a new species that is going to be uh, released with further levels of the beta when the beta comes along a little bit more. Um, but basically, we have human, avian, we have the apex, florin, hylodel, and the glitch. And I am a huge fan of the glitch. Uh, when I first started playing this game, I obviously I clicked through humans and I tried to find. A dude with a full beard but when you go through the hairstyles it's and we're on female right now so I'm gonna switch it to male um, it's not really a good one with there's not really a good beard that's pretty much the best we got right there and if I do the, if I do change the hair color it's like maybe a dark gray right here I think is the best we got so that's not and eh, not quite. I guess maybe there's like a darker blue that's like comic book black hair, which I think is like that or something like that. But anyway, so my first thought was I'm in space. I love to show Futurama and I'm thinking to myself, I got to make a bender when I saw a glitch, right? And so um, the second thing that attracted me to this immediately <laughs> was the male and female <laughs> symbols for this class and uh, for this race. And it's it's... Yeah, it's the male plug and the female plug, and that is hilarious to me. So the wiki is kind of up, and we can you can find out a little bit about the species. Um, there are going to be race-specific bonuses that I don't believe are implemented at the time I'm making this. I'm not 100% sure, but let's try and... and I'm not going to do... I could do yellow eyes to make it very Bender-like, but I'm not going to. If you don't know who Bender is... You don't know what Futurama is. I don't know what to tell you. You're missing out. If you like sci-fi stuff and cartoons and funny stuff, you will love Futurama. You got to check it out. Definitely got to check it out. So let's check out this head mod. I'm obviously looking for the little, little kind of antenna that sticks out of the middle of his head. Oh, you can make him a Tin Man. Nice. Uh, Mohawk, not feeling it. Oh, I like that. Hmm. That reminds me of something else. Dig that. That's hilarious. Is there not like a little antenna thing that sticks up? There it is. Oh. What's the detail color change? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. All right. Um, I like that it's red and that it stays red. What else we got? Let's go back to this one. You know what this one reminds me of? Uh, this one here. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of, and I like it in this color. It reminds me of uh, apple seed, uh, anime, manga. Um, the uh, one of the main characters is uh, 
kind of ghost in a machine kind of a deal and he's uh it's a suit kind of can power a suit called a hecatonkri suit in one of the series it's it's pretty awesome it's a robot suit he's got these two cool antennas uh that stick off his head like that they're like not really just plain into anyway i'm digging this so now uh one of the things about the glitch the story behind the glitch is that they have you know uh they've achieved sentience they're robots that have achieved sentience and uh when they've achieved sentience and become their own civilization basically their advancement has stopped in kind of a medieval kind of level and so it's i guess kind of silly that they're that they're robots but they're stuck in a medieval level but as far as their culture and stuff is concerned uh, that's where they are so we're pretty much stuck with medieval looking garb and i'm just going to pick my personality my stance here oh <laughs> no Oh, sad. Well, how do you like that? That's like a 50s kind of radio announcer guy. This is Gunslinger. This is Brave Hero, which is obviously what we are and what we do. So, just give myself a name. What do you think? Good? Should we go blue with the shirt? Should we go blue with the shirt? I imagine. Well, I know for sure that right after we get into the game, we're pretty much never going to see this uniform again. So, we're just going to go with this. Do I like that head? I do. Indeed, I do. Let's get started. So, while we are getting ready to rock and roll here, let me explain to you a little bit more in depth about the game. The game takes place in outer space, and you travel from planet to planet in your spaceship. And the spaceship, and here we are. And the spaceship, uh, we're, we're orbiting different planets, and different planets have different properties and different monsters, and it's all procedurally generated. Um, but it, So it feels randomized, and every time you go to a different planet, it will feel slightly different. The colors are different, the ores are different for mining purposes, all the monsters look different. They're still fairly similar, but, but they all look different, so um, that's one of the cool things about this, and we can go on at into into great expanses to find different and cool new stuff so um new quest time for an up upgrade as one of the few glitch to achieve self-awareness you are forced to flee your home with little preparation your ship has run out of fuel in orbit of an unknown planet before getting out before setting out in search of fuel search your ship's storage for a matter manipulator press e to interact with objects so this is pretty sweet. So here I am, very tiny in this big world. Here's my ship. You can check it out. Uh, I, I, if you've seen any of my Minecraft stuff, you will know that I am obviously in love with this stone brick appearance here. Now, it looks weird plugged into the top of a spaceship, but I think it's awesome. I think it's really awesome. And each of the races has a different ship that is uh, that's that that's unique to their race. So, basically, the way to activate stuff, which is a little counter counterintuitive for me, it was a little bit counterintuitive for me uh, at first. And if you if you've ever played Terraria, you're familiar with some of some of the uh, some of the ways to move around and things to do in here. But but basically, what we're doing is if you get close to an object that you can interact with, it starts to flash. And then you hit E with your cursor over it. Now there is no way currently to map keys, so I just I'm just gonna hit E here. I'm gonna grab all this loot out of here. Um, Matter manipulator is our first main tool. I'm holding down Shift as I click, and it's just loading it up into my uh, my hot bar up here, which are numbered. There's a really cool left and right button mechanic that I will show you guys in a minute. Maybe a little bit later when we get some better weapons, I think, but we'll see. This is a two-handed sword that I got. I got a flashlight, which is really cool. I got my wheat seeds, which we can do some farming. I got the almighty torches, which will come in handy. This is for some more uh, farming, and that's a food stuff that's going to be delicious. And then I have, again, the matter manipulator. So I can also, yay, I got it. Um, it's time to search the planet for fuel. To survive down there, you'll need tools to produce tools. You'll need to make yourself a crafting table. Use your ship's teleportation platform to beam down. So, uh, as I was saying, uh, there's some there's some pretty cool stuff that you can make in here. And uh, there's a lot of places. One of the things that we're going to need to do, this has 64 slots in your ship locker. It's always going to be with you in the ship. 
Um, so that's a good thing to store some stuff. Let's check out what else is in here. If I hold E on this, Tech 3D Printer and Cancel. So Tech, now I can actually improve my spaceship by locking Tech in and giving it new powers. There's a 3D printer available where I can just, okay, we acquire pixels, okay, which are these little off-white, yellowish kind of color things. And as you acquire pixels, you can just, uh, yeah, you can just totally just, just print stuff straight from here and produce them with pure pixels, which is kind of cool. It's almost like something from nothing. Then when we go through here, this is the door, and I'm just hitting E again while I'm, while I'm close enough to it. And we hit this. We have no fuel. So this is a fuel gauge, and this is where our star map is going to be. Uh, star map is actually going to be right here. We'll click on this. We can see we are here. Alpha Gomeza Majoris 1. And is that one? And then we're at Majoris 1A, which I guess they're calling a moon of this. So this is a snow biome. This is a forest biome, threat level 1. It is a cool purple and green planet. If we want to go here, we just click on it and click go. But that's kind of getting ahead of ourselves. So let's get down to the planet and see what, what we can do. And I just wanted to do a quick intro for the game for you guys. So we're not going to take up too much more time before we actually get into it. So you just... Hit E, and we come down. This is a fairly, other than the kind of strange, and I'm just scrolling through with my mouse wheel up top here to get to my cutter. And I don't know what's going to be down here. This is the first time I'm seeing this planet, and so, you know, we're going just a couple tips. You never know if animals are going to be safe or if they are going to try to kill you so approach all animals with caution the ones that don't kill you if you shoot them with a bow and arrow will give you the most meat and sometimes other things and this guy is not is not a fan i'm just gonna take him out you can hear this awesome music change when we get into it whack come get some what you got you ain't got nothing Okay, so where are we at now? Well, we can see, if you check up here, my health and my energy. And energy is going to come in into play a little bit later. Health is getting low. So here's a tip for you. Check it out with the matter manipulator. And it takes a while, so we do want to develop specialized tools. But right now, matter manipulator will manipulate any matter you pointed at if it is possible to manipulate that matter. So come on, let's get to it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, this is crazy. I haven't played using the matter manipulator for this in some time. I've used an axe on this, and we'd have collected this and, and used it before. But these vines are a good early source of material called plant fiber, and I'm just trying to give you guys some help here because there's a lot of discovery that needs to happen on your own. And some of it um, you're really left with not necessarily a whole lot of guidance as you get started so the wiki is up and it's doing stuff but basically uh it's getting filled in but basically a lot of things are changing and there's it's just not a full if you go check out the minecraft wiki it is exhaustive and this is not yet there obviously the game's in beta so so it's got some room to grow so if i just hit c i get into crafting and then i bring up a list of all the schematics that i know off the top of my head and here we have a bandage. I need four plant fibers for a bandage, and that is going to help heal me. So we need to find some others someplace else. We have a weird kind of snail shell monkey face. Four-legged snail shelled ape monkey face thing. And he is no threat to me, so we're just going to let it ride. Let it be cool, baby. I can't get up there, so let's try to get out in this way. I mean, eventually I'll just have some stuff, and then I'll be able to, you know, build my way up there. But let's see what's down here. So, this is somebody's place. And if I take, if I put my weapon down, I have no idea what kind of creature that is. But if I put my weapon down, they are less likely to attack me if they are friendly. And so we are all good no idea what that's supposed to be. Is that an apex maybe? Or is that I don't I don't know. But what I'm gonna do is I need E and loot this chest. 
Reef Pod C. Reef Pod tastes like a crunchy smoothie made from every fruit you can imagine. That sounds delicious. Here's some pixels. Sweet, sweet cash. 325 and platinum ore. That's incredible. That is not something we usually get until much later in the game. So let's keep rolling. We need to find some trees. And this guy wants wants a piece of me. Yeah, I can't shift fast enough. Got him. You ain't nothing! And they just totally killed that dude. Whoever that was. Did he drop any loot? He did not. Here, the Ching Ching it is more pixels. No loot. Just gonna break these pots. All good. I'm gonna come back and steal all that stuff. Health is getting very, very low. I'm not sure I'm gonna make it out of here, to be honest. But at any time, what's really cool about this game is that if you see over here on the right, I have this little buddy, this little arrow, and at any time I'm on the surface. I can just use that to beam the F out of Dodge, which is sweet. So what I want to do now is um, also check out the flash, the way the flashlight works. So we got bluish water here, which is safe. I guess it's purplish. Um, if you see water around and it's green, it's poison. It's going to poison you. It's not worth it. I'm not sure we're going to be able to make it out of here alive, though. Come on, get some. All right, can I safely manipulate this matter somewhat? I'm just trying to get down here to these dudes. To these vines that we were looking at before. This is taking me forever to get through this cobble. Well, I hear some not great noises coming from the darkness. We can see some pretty good, can see some pretty good ore deposition here. It's a lot of iron there, right by the surface, and we can see also at the bottom of the screen in the middle that I'm getting hungry. I just nailed that plant fiber. Let's use a flashlight and see what's down here. So far, so good. Do not fall. Don't fall. Let's try and grab this and get some healing done. Now, I never really take the roots out with these. I feel like they might regrow or something. I don't know if they do. But I don't want to clear cut the thing and then I come back here and I'm in need of these, so. That's bad news. fighting in the dark. No big deal. Torch. And here's my plant fibers. Nice. Okay. So I need is some wood for a crafting table and I can make those. Now I am about to die. So I don't know where we're going to get some wood. It said it was a forested place. And I'm dead. Just like that. And so we respawn safely back in the ship. It takes a huge percentage of your dude's uh, pixels. These are not the colors I currently am. That's what I look like. Awesome. Alright, you could hit escape to skip that. So we're back up here, full health. Significantly fewer pixels than before, and then it is back down to the planet to keep the quest going. So one of the other cool things that we saw when, when I warped down here the first time, you guys saw that there was this thing here, and you never know what's going to happen down there. When you get to the new planet, um, I've seen prison planets I've seen accidentally arriving at the home world of a hostile race and having them killed you immediately I mean it's just you know you never know what you're gonna find and that's really really interesting it's more about you know with Terraria there was a huge amount of I don't wanna call it mindless but of there was a huge amount of just mining and just mining just for the sake of mining and that was not 
not quite as interesting to me necessarily, um, but this game places a much, much heavier emphasis on exploration and discovery, and it is so much fun. And it's you know it's a platformer, it's cool, it's a good time. Let's get whooped on here again. It happens. What are you gonna do? until we get to a tree here. Should be one somewhere. Okay, we see the type of ground change here. There's a lot of coal here and a lot of coal here. The ore distribution for this world looks pretty good. Um, you know, there's also like asteroid fields where there's no atmosphere or anything. Here we go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Those are nice looking trees too. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna shine my flashlight down here. See what we can see. Here are the bad guys. Okay, I see some green water right here. See it down here? That will poison us and kill us. There's another bad dude down there. There's more green water over here. I'm just gonna call it sludge, toxic sludge. I don't know if there's a name for it. Let's let's see what happens when we click on it. It says test flower. Okay, cool. So that's not complete yet. Not a problem. <laughs> There's a lot of things in the game that are like that, that are like, you know, oh, it's, uh, this field needs to be completed or to do and things like that. Not everything is named, but let me tell you, from some of the weird planets I've been on, this is a really nice, simple planet to get started in. Believe me. And timber. So, one of the new things that's just been released in the current update is the ability to replant trees. And if we check on the items, just hit I to head into my inventory. We see right here sapling. And it is a cool little. It's like a cool little seed pod type thing, and you just put it down wherever there is open ground, and I'm going to get back closer to where we first came down, where that camp is, to plant it. Probably not going to make it past these guys. Definitely not going to make it past these guys. The learning curve isn't that steep, I'm just not very good. <laughs> the learning curve is a little bit steep, but... That's all right. So this is where I actually land, and good practice is to just put two torches here. When I get the ability to, I'm going to plant a glitch flag to let me know exactly what planet I've been to before and which ones I have not. Um, let me just hop into, and we don't know if which of these things are going to be hostile towards us. Apparently, these are. Watch out. Whiff. And they shoot multiple kinds of things, and also it's getting dark. I am taking a pounding. Wish I had a bow. Ha! Come get some little bird. Bat, cat, cat bird thing. Flying cat, bird. Birdosaurus. So it is nighttime, and just like in Terraria, just like in Minecraft, when the dark when the darkness comes, so do the tough tough monsters. So I'm just gonna throw down these, and you just plop plop one there, wherever they fit, because I just need more trees. So we're good. So we're gonna let those grow. I'm gonna beam back up to the ship. And that is it for the first introductory episode of the new Starbound Let's Play that I am working on. Let me know what you guys would like to see more. Uh, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and take us straight through uh, what we need to get to the first boss, which is kind of cool. Tough little boss fight. And, uh, and then we're going to take off throughout the galaxy, explore some strange new worlds. Uh, boldly go where uh, no cartoony robot pixelated gamer has gone before. And that is it for me, dudes. It's the Real Duke. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching. I'm out.